the last game we're going to ever right now with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Troy, thanks for being back with us. Is Notre Dame, Texas. Texas, you know, an interesting team. The pressure's always on Texas every game, every week to win now. No three-year plan, not even a three-week plan. So the pressure's on Charlie <laughs> Strong. Uh, I've discussed this with, uh, with Mike Brenner. Mike likes Notre Dame right now. It's a three or three-and-a-half point line. I'm thinking about the over. I did actually bet that one a little bit. We know that Texas is uh, supposedly going to be uh, starting a, a more up-tempo, uh, you know, air raid-based offense, uh, pass-heavy offense. Offense, and uh, we know what Notre Dame can do, of course, offensively. So I'm thinking that the over 60 might be worth a shot. And Mike Brenner likes uh, Notre Dame minus three. You, you still do, right, Mike Brenner? Well, I do. I do. And again, it comes down to coaching. And, and I like Charlie Strong. Great, great coach at Florida. But certain coaches are meant for certain programs. And I just don't think he's a fit for Texas. Again, that's my opinion. And I just think they've underachieved as well. They have not bought what he sold. And I don't see enough significant change offensively for this team to really, really battle it out. He knows he's on the hot seat. When a coach is on the hot seat, they tend to press. They tend to, you know, just kind of push, push, push a little too much, and then it gets in the head of their athlete. So I think Notre Dame with Brian Kelly is a too well coached of a team. I think they come in here, and I think they win this game by 10 or more, and that's All just right. my opinion. Troy yeah. West, you like Notre Dame minus three and or over 60? What do you think? Jeez, I'm back with Mike again. I, I like Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame coming into this game, coming off a really nice season. Now, some of these suspensions that they may get here over the last week or so, now, that's, that's another story. We'll see how much that affects the team. But this is a team coming in with a lot of experience. They lost a few guys to the draft, but not many. Brian Kelly's got recruits coming in up the you-know-what. Mm -hmm. On the other side, Texas up and down, roller coaster last year. At times, they looked phenomenal. At other times, they looked terrible. You really don't know what you're going to get from Texas, which does scare me a little bit when you're putting money down because they kind of are a wild card going into this year. They looked really good against some teams last year, but they finished up the season nice. So we'll see if they carry that momentum in. But I just think Notre Dame on both sides of the football and in the special team department and, like Mike said, in the coaching department, they're the more well-rounded team. I think Notre Dame wins this game, like you said, by 10 or more points. It's a team with a great quarterback, good run game, good offensive line. I think Notre Dame wins the game. All right, sounds good. Anything to add, Mike Brenner, no. or are you guys in complete agreement? I think we are, and I think I'm just going to fly out there with Troy, and we're going to go to this game and put the money down together, <laughs> baby. So. Sounds good. Fair Troy enough. West from allplayswin.com. Thanks so much for all your thoughts on these Week 1 games. Thanks, Troy. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.